Hello, and welcome back to Scrum Study. Scrum is getting wider acceptance across various industry verticals. Why and how? Have you ever wondered why project management practitioners are walking out on the traditional waterfall method and opting for Scrum nowadays? Well, the answer is pretty simple. Scrum is, in a lot of ways, better than the traditional project management methods. Let's try to understand the differences between Scrum and traditional project management models in an organizational setup in a detailed way. If you look at the traditional project management models and Scrum method, you can see that the main difference is the way in which the project is being handled. When it comes to the organizational structure followed by Scrum, we can see that the definition of roles and associated responsibilities are some of the areas where Scrum differs in a major way from traditional project management methods. In traditional project management methods, the organizational structure is hierarchical, and authority for all aspects of the project is delegated from a higher level to a lower level. For example, the project sponsor delegates authority to a project manager, and the project manager delegates authority to team members. Moreover, traditional project management methods emphasize on individual accountability for project responsibilities, rather than group ownership or accountability. Any deviation from the delegated authority is looked at as a sign of issues and may be escalated to the higher level in the organization hierarchy. It's usually the project manager who is responsible for successful completion of the project, and he or she takes decisions on various aspects of the project, including initiating, planning, estimating, executing, monitoring and controlling, and closing. The emphasis in Scrum is on self-organization and self-motivation, where the team assumes greater responsibility in making a project successful. This also ensures that there's a team buy-in and shared ownership. This, in turn, results in team motivation leading to an optimization of team efficiencies. The product owner, Scrum Master, and the Scrum team work very closely with relevant stakeholders for refining requirements as they go through the develop epics, create prioritized product backlog, and create user stories processes. This ensures that there's no scope for isolated planning in Scrum. Team experience and expertise in product development are used to assess the inputs needed to plan, estimate, and execute project work. Collaboration among Scrum core team members ensures that the product is carried out in an innovative and creative environment that's conducive to growth and team harmony. We can conclude this segment by saying that all in all, Scrum is an updated theory for managing any type of project suited to our time and age, ready to replace the traditional project management techniques that were created in and for a bygone era. So with this, we've come to an end of the segment called Scrum versus Traditional Project Management Methods. I hope this video was informative and enjoyable. We look forward to seeing you in the forthcoming videos on Scrum. And thank you for learning with us.